Hello everybody, Calvin Nation here with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at this little design here that I came up with. Now you guys know, every once in a while I like to uh, sit down and make a little drawing on a design for a knife, whether that be a valley song or a folder. Last time it was a little Spyderco-like folder. At the time before that was a little, little ballad song. And uh, this time is another ballad song. I think uh, this one completely blows the other one out of the water. Well, not completely. I mean, it's pretty cool, I think. I think it's a pretty unique design. I haven't seen it done or implemented, but uh, as you guys know, anything you can never really think of or any idea you had on anything in the world, uh, whether that be knives or not, I'm sure has been thought of before. So, I mean... I'm sure this has been thought of, maybe even implemented, don't know, but uh, I think it's a pretty new idea nonetheless. As you can hear in the background, I had my 47 flipping, one of my faves, just going to put that there, uh, just in case we want to make any comparisons, but let's go on to talk about this knife that I've designed. So, um, essentially what it is, it's a normal ballast song, and specs are not right, I actually did not have uh, a ruler with me, but this would be about the same size as a a 4x or a bit longer even about as thick as a basilisk um, but as you can see here it's actually uh, I only have the handles designed but we have a titanium overlay over a G10 underlay which I think is really cool it also has a SS spacer now I'm no knife maker uh, but I do so I don't know exactly what materials are going to cause you know which weight and which balances and everything so that could change to a titanium spacer don't know but um, yeah, basically you have a titanium overlay over a G10 underlay, and uh, you can see here on both sides it kind of comes back down, uh, curls back in, so we have a stronger pivot area. Also, this is going to be kind of one seamless metal finish, um, where the SS and the TI uh, are together. Again, if you wanted to do uh, titanium all the way around, it would just be one seamless titanium um, kind of bolster here I guess you could say but I think it's a cool idea because it's it's really unique I haven't seen it done also uh, I think I can speak for most people and say that uh, all metal looking balisong is a little bit cooler than a G10 metal um, version of a balisong uh, I think G10 ones rock I think they have the potential to be the best flippers and that's why I chose to do it here but uh, I really like the look of the metal design so if we have a metal top and a G10 bottom, I think we could utilize um, all the best features of a balisong, keep it weighted and balanced perfectly. As we see here, this is just the overhead view kind of of, uh, of one of the handles. This is just going to be one slab of the titanium. Um, we actually have a little bit of a milled out kind of oval, that secondary oval inside there, which is going to be just set down the tiniest little bit inside the titanium. Uh, I have not worked out exactly how thick the G10 and the titanium will be. G10 will most likely be a little bit thicker than the titanium uh, for balance issues and everything. But uh, then in here, I was uh, thinking probably mill straight through the titanium for the holes as well as the G10. But I was thinking a cool thing here for this third, um, third little oval here is... Uh, just in case this ever ever went into production, uh, I would love to do it myself if I was a knife maker, which I hope to be sometime soon. Um, but if I were to do it myself, I think it'd be cool if for each person who ordered one of these have a different um, G10 inlay. So let's just say the whole underlay was a black G10, but uh, your oval might be, um, I don't know, lime green uh, or toxic green G10. I think that would be cool. Of course, you have the ch um, the chance to, or you can choose if, if it's just to be straight, milled out, and uh, see-through. But I think it'd be cool to have uh, a different color G10 inlay right there. But, um, yeah, I think it's a great design because um, you get that SS spacer that basically acts just as a liner instead of a spacer. It's also going to add enough weight instead of having it just titanium. Um, but, uh, you, you know, most ballast songs like Valley Ballistics, they'll have, um, instead of kind of the liner design here like mine, they have it go straight up to here and block off the whole side kind of like this. If this were a sandwich ballast song, let's just say this whole part was sandwiched, that amount would be blocked off because of the spacer. Um, you have potential to put that there as well, which would make it a little bit heavier if you wanted. So you could have the SS liner 
um, spacer technique here that I've implemented but you could also just completely block this off too and have more weight so um, this whole part of the channel could be blocked off with stainless steel as well obviously on both handles so I think it makes a really cool flipper I'd, I'd assume I think it uh, it would work very well I think it'd be a pretty hard uh, balisong to put together machining would definitely be an issue it would definitely be a balisong that would take a lot of work but I definitely think it has potential, and I definitely want to get your guys' input. Um, I really appreciate your time. I think this is a really cool battle song. I definitely think it opens up some possibilities for the future. And uh, I would love to see this made, maybe uh, if I do it eventually, or um, you know, if I can work on a collaboration with someone. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, I appreciate your time. So see you later for the next video. Take care.